Hey everybody, it's Pulse with Pioneer and I'm going to give you a quick screen, screencast walkthrough on how to prepare uh, flash drives, USB drives, hard drives, SD cards, whatever, uh, in OS X for use with the CDJs. Now that would be the CDJ2000, CDJ900, and uh, CDJ350. Okay, so um, here you can see I've got a couple of hard drives connected as well as a 16 gig flash drive and that's the one I'm going to focus on here uh, because these ones actually have some content in them and I don't want to erase them. So... Uh, Select your drive and make sure that you have nothing on it because if you do, you're going to be wiping it out. So copy any of the data off at first. Next, load up your applications folder and go load your utilities. I've got a shortcut here in my dock. Uh, go to the disk utility. It takes just a second to enumerate the drives that are on there. The ones that are set to the left are the physical drives. The ones that are set to the right are the partitions. So if you were to click on a partition, for example, a Corsair, you'll see first aid, erase, raid, and restore are the tabs that I've got to work with. If you go to the drive itself, you now all of a sudden see a partition option. And this is the one you want to use. Don't just erase it. Under volume scheme, select current and change that to one partition because you don't want to have multiple partitions on this device because only the first one will be read. So uh, you can change the name. Let's uh, just name mine Pulse C for Corsair. Now, if you only ever use a Mac, you can leave this as Mac OS X Extended Journal. But if you want to use this with a Windows machine as well at any point, change it over to FAT, which is a FAT32 file system. Uh, either case, you're going to select... Let's just not even change mine to FAT. Uh, in either case, you're going to select the options down at the bottom here and change it from GUID Partition Table to Master Boot Record. If it's on a GUID, it will not work with the uh, CDJs. So you need to use Master Boot Record. Click on OK click apply. Now it's going to warn you it will erase everything that's on the disk. Click partition. It takes just a couple seconds to create the partition and actually format the drive. And you're done. Once you see the drive pop back up on your desktop or in your uh, finder, you are good to go. So now you can use this device to load up within Rekordbox or to just uh, drag and drop files and uh, load it into your player. So enjoy.